first of all, obviously the N word thing um, upset me because I'm black, and I don't think that just because somebody may be different from you that you have the right to disrespect their race or culture like that. When I was six years old, I moved into a town that was all white, not predominantly white, but entirely white. My family and I were the only black family. During the holidays, they had this thing called breakfast with Santa Claus. And Santa Claus was the mayor. Well, the issue was when it was my turn to take a picture, the mayor refused to take a picture with me because I was black. And I was in the store and the security kind of followed us or well, followed me. I realized it was because I was Hispanic that they were following me and checking everything I was doing. And it was more than one security officer just kind of looking around and I kind of felt a little nervous about that. I don't understand why there has to be so much ignorance like that. I think people should be more open-minded about other cultures. And why do Hispanics need to be seen as just farm workers? Why can't we see? Why can't we be seen as people who do great things? The first time I've ever experienced discrimination is when I started coming out. I've experienced the most discrimination from girls that are straight. I think that's wrong because. I'm just like everyone else. I've experienced discrimination in the sense of class. I lived in a shelter. I don't have a family. I lived in a basement. I lived in a car. So my struggle in life has been to situate myself. But people have always judged me because I don't have a home. They look at the way I dress and I have the same shirts on all the time. And I usually walk around in PJs. And I have two different shoes. I have a one flip-flop, one sandal. I still dress in summer clothes because that's all I had before I was out on my own. In my case, when I was in high school, I spent a lot of time working on the musicals. And there were some scenes. I was an ensemble member. And they'd put everybody in the background. And when everybody else that I was working with would go in the background, I'd ask, why was I not put in the scene? And the directors would quickly say, There's, there'd just be too much Amanda in this scene. Too much you would stick out. And, you know, scene after scene, you're asking, why was I not put in this? And you find yourself spending less time on stage. You realize too much Amanda translates into too much weight. And too much weight is not something good. Um, specifically the Brown Buffet in which they had pe uh, groups from all over the world uh, bring food and everyone was together so I think that was a great, great idea for an event. More events like that um, would pretty much be a great idea. The only way that I think that discrimination can be uh, stopped is if like the university, well specifically for Rhode University, is if the university like makes it clear that they won't tolerate any type of discrimination. A solution to stop discrimination throughout the world, not just here on campus, is the key to a strong education. If we start now, within a good decade from now, I believe society will be discrimination free, pain free. It comes from their parents, so I guess as time goes on, the more that people aren't racist, the problem will fix itself. When you love someone, it doesn't matter who they are in the outside, it's who they are inside. So it shouldn't matter if, um, what gender they are or what race they are. It's going to take a lot of work to try and fix things like this, and I'm not sure if there is a full-fledged answer as how to fix it. But my suggestion is if somebody's trying to hurt you or put you down, just smile and get through it. And although it sounds cliched, you will be the better person because your heart's not full of hate. What we were trying to do in Lasso is just um, create a Spanish Heritage um, play for the month, um, Spanish Heritage Month. We we're just trying to create events to support um, the Latino community. I'm in Lasso. I'm also in DSU. I'm also in MSLI. You know. You just had to bring more students who are not the minorities to all the organizations that are the multicultural organizations on campus. That way we can spread diversity on this campus. You can't choose your genes, but you can choose your personality. Martin Luther King even said, judge a person by their character, the content of their character, not for what they look like.
but the person inside, that's what really matters. That's who we are, we choose that. And don't judge them by their appearance or what their race makes them. Judge them by their character and their good-hearted kindness. Judge them for who they are. Eyes, so scared to